Hello everybody, it's me, the Autistic Monitor Society, or Isaiah if you prefer, and in this video I'm going to be detailing um, lighting the main hull right here. So if you recall in the other two videos I basically showed you the hull, I showed you the, um, the, the kit, the unboxing in a way, and and I showed you the kinds of paints that I use to paint the hull. I also showed you um, how I um, how I added some rust details, maybe a little bit too much rust details along the hull section. And now we've come to the more, I would say, hands-on physical aspects of the next few videos, and that's going to be lighting and building the um the superstructure the funnels and everything in between okay so i'm going to um so in this video part 3 i'm going to begin to explain how i light the main hull okay now but before you before you want to if it's if you want to light it obviously you need to um you need to obviously drill all the holes out, or most of the holes out. Maybe not all of them, because you don't want to look like Swiss cheese. But you want to you want to drill all the holes out of the um, out of the out of the desired windows. Now, when I first got this kit, I was afraid that the plastic would be too thick for these pin vise drills that I have. I think one is. Um, I think 0.9 inches. The other one is a 0.90 inches. I I'm not sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna insert like a picture with like the approximate size um, when I edit this video. So yeah. So um, you want to obviously drill out all the holes if you plan on um, if you plan on lighting the kit. Also, it it would be nice if you could like. Um, make sure you paint inside so you can you can eliminate light bleed. Fortunately, this kit already had the inside already molded in plastic, so I don't really have to do that. Um, and so yeah, so once you've drilled all the holes, it's just it's pretty simple. Just figure out what what porthole you want. Like if I want this one, and to use this as an example. And then I basically just take this drill head and basically just do this, you know, you know, work with it a couple seconds and boom, I am through. Um, I was really concerned that the plastic, like I said, would be too thick where I wouldn't be able to, to drill through it. So obviously for the bigger, for these bigger windows, I use a bigger drill head, drill bit, excuse me. And for the smaller windows, I use a smaller, smaller drill bit. So, so I do that. So, um, so yeah. So all the all the windows on both the port and the starboard side have been drilled out. The the beginning of the promenade windows are already pre-cut, so I don't have to touch those. And of course, I did, I did the windows on the 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 top of the forecastle. So I did these, and then I did, and then I did the ones in the rear. So these here. Wait, whoops. So these windows here. Okay, all of those have been drilled out. So now it's time to discuss what lighting procedures you're going to use. So when you're just when it when it's a kit that big or any kit, your best preference is to use LED light strips. Um, these are these are warm white because I wanna I wanna get that vintage um, warm lamp color um, for fluorescent or just just a regular like Thomas Edison bulb or something and so a warm white is a good way to accomplish that I, it's not bright white where it, where it looks kind of weird and it's not yellow where it looks kind of kind of icky it's the it's the perfect balance. Um, so these are these are 12 volt LED light strips, warm white. Um, of course, you got your your positive for red and your negative for black. Each each strip comes with um, three LED um, diodes, and um, and they put out they put out a fairly good luminosity. I don't know what the luminosity rating is, but they they put out a pretty 
well good um, a luminosity rate so that's important and um, and then you want to you want to tie these in a parallel circuit so obviously um, all the all the all the positives go one go go one way and then all the negatives go to the other one and then you just hook it up to your um, to your power jack which in this case is a 12 volt wall jack so a uh, 12 volt wall jack which connects to which basically connects to the wall to, to, to a wall outlet so so the jack head goes inside the adapter or the or the jack plug I guess I guess this is this will be the adapter and then it goes into the wall um, the adapter does so because obviously this 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 obviously is is a much bigger kit um, that you would not be able to have a simple um, battery like a simple um, battery setup you would need to actually draw power from the grid to make this work so like I was saying um, using um you would have to wire these in a parallel circuit i already kind of did one here um wire them in a parallel circuit and you use wire strippers and you you kind of like take almost half an inch of wire of the insulation off and then just go ahead and tie those bad boys together and voila you have a parallel circuit which is what i call a vine or a tree configuration. Um, it gives you enough space to place the to place the LED strips in the in the areas of the hole you need to light, while the wires themselves are still long enough to be connected to the feeder wires, which will go to where the other LEDs are clustered. So that being said, I I got some preliminary work done on that. And this is essentially the setup. So as you can see, I have I have LED lights at the front of the bow, very front, so it can illuminate this. I have LEDs. I have LEDs placed in in a pack of, in a pair of two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. And as we continue. Um, these LEDs have a um, have an adhesive tape to them, so you can basically just press them into the hole. But as you can see here, it's kind of it sometimes is a little bit finicky and doesn't stick. So I'm gonna have to go back and like use some hot glue, modestly moderate hot glue to to um to put that back in place. Okay. So that that includes lighting um the main hall it's pretty self explanatory now for the stern which is the back I'm going to I'm going to have one light strip here but then but, but then I'm excuse me but then I'm going to have 5 uh millimeter warm white LED bulbs to illuminate parts of um, I think this is called the poop deck actually to eliminate parts of the poop deck okay so yeah so and um, of course I actually already did that um, already wired it already um, did, did most of it um, everyone knows how to to cut wires and solder them but I, I, I can I will make a video on how to do that next so stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Okay, so welcome back. So I am fixing to now show you how I basically um, how I basically connect the connect my wires and the soldering process to the 
to the feeder wire, which is what this is. I have more of this somewhere, I just gotta find it, but this is purely for demonstration purposes. So this, this wire is going to then connect to the other connections, sorry, the other LEDs that I, that I made, that I connect, that, that I already soldered and wired to. And I'm going to connect this, this feeder wire, I know you can barely see it, to this, these wires here. Okay, so let's get started. And obviously this is going to connect to the much bigger system. Okay, so um, let's say that I am, um, I'm going to, I'm going to have to strip the wire, um, um, I'm going to have, excuse me, I'm going to have to strip the insulation off the feeder wire. It is too small to be stripped by this wire stripper. It's too small for that. Um, so I'm going to have to use the soldering iron to basically uh, to basically do that. So I'm going to do that right now. And you just basically what you do is you just pull the wire and it kind of strips it off that way you don't have to you don't have to be so firm with it it just slides off cuz the soldering iron is fairly warm at this point so just find a good fulcrum and just slide the wire and you're pretty pretty good to go okay you don't need a lot to be taken off you just need a good bit so you have enough room to solder the connections which is what I'm fixing to do right now I'm gonna start with the positive positive in And I'm going to I'm going to take the take this part of the wire and basically what you know basically tw twist um, these two ends together. Like that. And I'm going to take some soldering, um, soldering wire. And basically have the iron like this. And melt it on there. Okay, you don't need a lot, don't need to hold it up forever, and go ahead and use use the damp rag that I got here, kind of clean, clean off the, the end of the soldering iron, the, the ending tip. If I can focus that a little bit. Okay. And once that's done, you you have I have some um shrink tubing. Take a little get some scissors. I'm gonna cut. Let me get my scissors. Get the, some scissors, shrink wrap. Oh, shrink tube, excuse me. Cut off a little bit. And I'm going to slide that over the wire, over the um, feeder wire, to the, the, the area that I just soldered. And also, I'm going to cover the, the top, the beginning of the, the the, the connection bundle for the positive the positive wire in to ensure that there is no exposed there is no exposed 
um, wiring or solder to get like a good snug fit and then I'm gonna take my soldering iron and basically heat the, the shrink tubing to, to make it shrink hence the name where it's a good snug fit and voila you have a connected parallel circuit including soldering and also your main connection wire to the rest of of your of your kit and of course now that that's over with I'm going to fight I'm gonna figure out where where my other um, where my other uh, uh, connect uh, feeder wire is and I'm going to now go ahead and place the LEDs um, I'm gonna place the LEDs on the rest of the kit and then I'm also going to um, place the other LEDs on the poop deck in the back so yeah that's basically that in a nutshell um, I've already begun working on excuse me uh, I'm already begun working on installing one of the um, one of the headlights or one of the, sorry the steamer lights for the main mast already done that and already placed the wiring for that so obviously I'm going to connect that to the main to the main um, to the main um, kit but I'm not going to solder it yet because I still got to add all the details um, for the bow but I, I, I was just saying that I, I had already done the headlamp for the main mast and I've also begun working on installing uh, installing the LED for the the navigation lights both the red one and eventually the green one okay and I have an LED for the green one these are these are all Z LEDs these are like some of the most smallest LEDs on the market from Evan Designs so I will be back for the final video um, where I have already installed all the LEDs for the main hull so I will see you then thank you bye okay so now we have or at least now I have all the lighting installed so I have all the LEDs all the light strips and all the 1.8 millimeter bulbs installed and now I am fixing to light this baby. I also installed a lamp for the foremast. So now we are ready to light it and see what happens. Wow, that is amazing. Now, because the wiring is still not really soldered and hooked up, I can't really show you too much without me disturbing the connections and causing the um causing the the connection to be lost because again the solder points are not yet soldered in co co uh, sorry are not yet soldered in um fully but this is basically what i have um and i i, I did take some pictures some still pictures that i will be showing um at the end of this at the end of this segment so yeah, so I would say I am complete, and of course you can see, excuse me, you can see the, the, the mass, the four mass light there. So I would say the main hull has been finished, that includes painting, that includes drilling out the windows, and that includes also, of course, wiring the LEDs all together to create this dramatic effect. And so next will be I'm going to seal this up with the, the 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 deck plates for the promenade. I just got the new kit. I just bought it Friday, and it's gonna be here around Monday. So I will probably 
be doing a video about the unboxing sometime this week after I get off from work because I just got a new job. So yeah, so this is basically the complete painted hull all drilled out and of course I'm going to send some pictures or sorry I'm going to, I'm going to um, out, I'm going to have pictures of um of the work I did in this video. So yeah, just an update and um stay tuned because the next video will be the beginning of working on the promenade and that's going to be really really fun to do. So Isaiah from the Autistic Modeler Society, and I will see you guys next time.